The aim of this part of the lab is to compare the microbiological quality of different samples of milk. Milk samples that contain a large population of actively metabolized microorganisms will contain a markedly decreased concentration of dissolved oxygen. This is due to the vigorous growth of the organisms present in these samples. Here you are provided with four milk samples. Samples one and two are raw milk, and samples three and four are pasteurized milk. One and three have been kept refrigerated for 48 hours, whereas samples two and four have been stored at room temperature. You're also provided with methylene blue. This is a dye used to screen the quality of milk, which may contain large populations of enteric organisms and are potent reducers of the dye. In the presence of oxygen, this solution remains blue. However, it will lose its color if oxygen becomes depleted. Firstly, you will add one mil of methylene blue dye to each milk sample. Please remember to use aseptic technique throughout this procedure. Ensure you mix your samples thoroughly by inverting the tube at least five times. Repeat these steps for the remaining samples. Samples are then added to a water bath set at 37 degrees Celsius with mixing and the colours of each tube observed every 30 minutes. The speed at which reduction occurs in a milk sample indicates the quality of the product. Here is an example of what your samples may look like after a two hour incubation, with the methylene blue of samples two and four already reduced. If the reduction time occurs within 30 minutes, this indicates the sample is of very poor quality. A reduction time between 30 minutes and two hours is indicative of poor quality, whereas the color change occurring between two and six hours indicates the sample is of fair quality. Finally, if the methylene blue takes more than six hours to reduce, the milk sample can be classed as being of good quality.